Hey everybody, welcome back to another video of Getting Spooled. Just uploaded a new video, so by the time you guys are seeing this one, let's hope that one's gone viral. Someone watch my video. And check out this guy's videos as well, he's the brother. They're struggling for views and yep. everything, so take a look at it. But it's good video. stuff, it's good stuff. And then we got Ivis in here. It catches the big bass. Doesn't catch many bass, but when he does, lie, they're, they're, big, they're big bass. Shoot, hey, what's your account, Iverson? Oh, shoot and cast guy. Shoot and cast on Instagram. Underscore guy. Underscore. Don't mess that up. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so let's get out there. It's probably like 5 o'clock. Hoping to catch the evening bite. And let's go. I got all my rods inside the truck. I'm fired up. I haven't been bass fishing in so long. I think I've done a little, like, a little pond one. We're actually going to a lake, so that should be fun. We're not taking my boat, it's a little big for this lake. It'd be absolutely impossible to launch because we pretty much launch off like a rock cliff. Um, so we're gonna be taking the little green one, flat bottom, hook up the electric. I'm gonna be taking this one out soon. I've been on sturgeon fishing a couple of times, just haven't filmed, but yes, the trailer's all good to go. I got it all fixed, so don't worry about that. So let's get this thing loaded up and see you guys at the lake. All right, what to start off with? What to start? Huh, I'm gonna go, I mean, it looks froggy in here. There's lots of weeds, so I don't know how my shaky head's gonna do. But I lost my frog at that pond, so I have that other frog that I've never caught a thing on, but I mean, I could, the pond, yeah. So, I mean, I'm gonna give it a go. I'll fish it in here. I don't think I'll catch anything on it, but I might as well give it a try. It's this thing, see how it does. Maybe catch a bass or two on it, I doubt it, but see what happens. Well, you got a good start for Ivis in here. What happened there? It's just, this line's just getting naughty. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Couple casts in and he might be out of commission. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, you got it? Right on, back in the game. We got about like 15 yards of line. Was last time I was here, remember? Oh yeah. Huge rat nest had to cut off like <laughs> my line. That's hilarious. Okay, well that frog thing had an extremely short leash. So we're gonna go with this guy. Hey, can you slow down? It's pretty juicy in here. Okay. Wow, we're hauling out of here. We have to. We have to. Just picking every little pocket that I don't see a crazy amount of weeds in. Oh man, I just cast it into the bush. <laughs> you might have to go in there. We're going in. We're going in. Okay, I'll bring us out. I only have two of these things left. We are going in, folks. So you can tell I've been bass fishing in a while. People launch this thing. Like, how far off would my cast could have been? Man, that's bad. Oh, I got it. We're not going in. We are not going in. Can you slow down? But, like, they're. Oh, there's one. Got him. Ah, shite. Slow down, man. It's tiny. It wasn't. Like, man, come on. It's nowhere near my fault. It is. Okay, we've got to cover every little stretch here, man. You're just absolutely hauling through everything. I don't understand that. All right, rolling into the second spot here. Got a nice rock wall. Nice drop off on the weed line. Yeah, hopefully we can pull some out of here. I must want to roll a crankbait off these rocks. Go very slow, Cody. This is the time to roll a crankbait. It's like right here. I know. Trust me, highly aware. I mean, ideally you want to swim, but. A lot of weeds. There is. There's a lot of weeds here, but you just gotta. There comes like little spurts where you can get your crankbait in. 
I think I got one. Yeah. Well, Dawson's got one. <laughs> that was so weird. My line was just moving. I'm like, man, I think I have one. I mean, that nothing is, to is brag good. about, but like, first fish of the day. Nice, chunky, fat hog. Oh, no. Oh, my leg. Crazy. Okay, see ya. Okay, well, we got a bit of a trek from this side of the lake all the way to that side, so I'm gonna take some time to talk to you guys and ask Dawson here a couple questions. And how do you think we're gonna be doing today bass fishing? Uh, I don't know. We've been here quite a few times, and so far we've only caught in dinks, but there's potential for a huge one, but it could go either way. Do you think, so, do you think it's gonna happen today? On a, on a frog? On the far side? In the lily pads? I don't know yet. It didn't go well last time. <laughs> last time, we didn't really get any, but I got a good feeling about today. So That's good. Yeah, hopefully we got some good chances. That's good. All right, I'm going to ask the uh, same question here to Cody. What's your, what's your uh, Instagram thing again and YouTube channel? Uh, my Instagram is Schwartzies Fishing, and uh, my YouTube channel is also Schwartzies Fishing. Uh, please give it a follow and subscribe because I'm struggling, man. <laughs> I swear I got some good content, but just it's not getting out there. So give it a follow, share it, whatever. Just get the word out that my that my account's out there. Do you think we're gonna catch a big bass today after you know, going through some small ones on a frog? You know what? I think so. We're gonna be frog fishing on the other side here. It's usually the juice. Hopefully the big ones are gonna be there. So I don't know. We gotta wait and see, but I'm pretty optimistic about it. I think it's gonna be good. I think we'll get a big one. At least one of us will. Well, there you have it, folks. We got some questionable hopes over there. We got some <laughs> high hopes here, and I don't really know where I stand. Uh, we've gotten we've gotten big fish on frogs, but I mean, today hasn't looked good. Yeah, I know. Fish. Today it's been all just kind of small fish, but you never know. Sun's going down. It's getting into that prime really feeding time. Right in our line, get a split yeah, currently we got a boat headed straight for us. Probably gonna make us capsize, but anyways, enough of the chit chat. We're gonna. We're only like halfway across the lake, probably got another 10 minutes to cross. Motor's kind of struggling, but we'll see you guys over on the other side. I don't think it's that guy. I don't think it is. It is. Is it? Maybe. This guy's gonna be pissed. Oh. Oh, it is too. We've talked to a lot of other guys and they haven't cared. Can we just... You have to be a good head, I'll be responsible. And I don't want to be this person. Alright? If something happens to you, I'll be liable. And I don't want to be that person. You understand, eh? You got a property, you're home. If I come to your home, you're going to your home, I get hurt, I'm going to sue you, right? So you guys own the lake? If you get hurt now, you'll be suing me. And I am not going to be responsible. I ask the county to put the boat. You own the lake? Anyway. You have to go now. Please. But you own the lake? You own the lake? Yes, I do. We all do here, not you guys. All the residents here own the lake, not you. All the smart ass you gotta go. I'm asking a simple question, man. Relax. Like, can we just fish this far side here? Like, we're not, we're not harming anybody here. What? Why can't we just fish this side? Like. Like, we'll stay away from your dock. Yeah, like, I, I don't want to argue with you, but like... We've done it before, it was never any problem. Like, we're staying away from your dock, like, we're fishing this side. What? Like, we're not gonna do anything, though. We're just fishing, man. What are we doing? We've haven't, we've never, we've, I've been fishing here for the last five years. I haven't had one problem. I, I know, just, I think you no. just gotta loosen up about it, man. I mean, if we were by your dock flipping and hitting your boat, then sure, you can come out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'd be pissed off too if I owned a nice boat like you guys and people are flipping, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah exactly.
When I was out there, I was romanced by a woman. Yeah. I got a call and then he was coming out, so I, I did one or two. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank you. Means a lot. Yeah. My grandchildren, you guys age. Oh, right on, right on. One of my grandsons is an avid fisherman. Yeah. Oh wow, that's awesome. That's what it's all about though, just getting out here, having a good time, you know. Oh, this guy's trying to sink us. What is he doing? Man, relax! We have boat problems! Our engine is not working! Man! Just Man, kind of want honestly, I, we're trying to. We're trying to. We're trying. Look, look, look. We're trying to. Look. We're trying to relax. I don't know. I don't want to break my camera. <laughs> this guy's a freak out. Respect us, how about? We are! You said that. Man, if they have kids here, then stop swearing. I'm sure the kids don't want to hear you cussing all the time, so don't say that to us. We're trying to leave. I'm trying to leave the whole time. Like we're trying to leave and you're trying to sink us? That's a good example. What? Jeez. Then you say you? we can sue you? Then we say you can, why are you trying to sink us then? It makes no sense. Finally, they started working again. Chill out. <laughs> oh, that's gonna get him fired up. <laughs> oh, man, the only reason I want to get out of it, I have like. like yeah, my expensive camera stuff. He sinks us, we're screwed. I, he so I know. I did, man. Look at the, look at the back. Yeah, of the Cody got I'm soaked. soaked. Okay, well, a bit of excitement out on the water. I mean, not fishing wise either. Start off the day. Nice and calm, cool, fishing, just enjoying ourselves out here, enjoying the evening. And then uh, we decided to go to the far side where everybody said it's fine to fish. Um, and the, as you guys can see, a boat came just flying out of nowhere, uh, just absolutely lost it on us. So uh, we weren't even fishing his dock. Like a lot of people get mad. So I've heard if you fish their dock, so we, we always go by the dock, never fish them. Uh, we just kind of stay away from him, and he just came over and fired all cylinders. That's amazing. I was calm the first time, yeah. and then when he came over and tried to tip us, I got him. Yeah, like we tried keeping our cool the first time, and then he comes back over a second time as we were about to pull out of the water, and he just, first off, he's like probably 50 yards away yelling at us, so I can't hear a word he's saying. Then he comes in and then tries doing twirls and tries to flip our boat. He got like Man, wish, five, like, ten feet away from us. Like, it's an absolute joke. Offshore? Like of course he's, of course story. he feels like the man in the bigger boat, like just brutal. So I'm pretty heated right now, so I gotta relax. Um, we're gonna unload everything, just gotta calm down, gotta get the truck, and we're gonna go for dinner. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, definitely didn't think this would be happening today, but I'm sure, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure did. It was kind of a good excitement because the fishing was a little slow. Stay tuned for the next video. It's gonna be a good one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one as well, and we'll see you guys next time in another episode of Getting Spooled. Peace.